Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about utility cards. Um, these are cards which would be useful in pretty much any competitive deck that you've got. So um, they're just useful to have sort of four of for your collection really. We're going to talk about a few categories. We're going to talk about Pokemon, supporter cards, stadium cards and item cards. So first thing we're going to talk about is stadium cards. First stadium card we're going to talk about here is Glimwood Tangle. And this is great if you've got any Pokemon whose attacks require any kind of coin flip. So uh, things like uh, Slowbro decks, things like that, where you're going to need to be flipping coins and you want to get the maximum number of heads that you possibly can. Glimwood Tangle basically just allows you to reflip your coin flips. So um, you don't, get, don't like the number of heads you got flip your coins again. You have to flip all of them. You don't get a chance to, to change your mind if, uh, if you're not happy with the second flip. You have to take whatever that is. But um, at least you're, you're getting the chance to sort of flip it again. So it's probably slightly improving your chances uh, on your coin flips. So that's a really useful one if you've got anything like that. Not too many decks, but you know, it might be useful to you. The other one here is Chaotic Swell. Chaotic Swell is um, a really useful stadium card. And the reason it's so useful is because as soon as the stadium cards come into play, so for example, let's say Glimwood Tangle was in play, as soon as Chaotic Swell comes into play, it would get rid of Glimwood Tangle and be replaced by Chaotic Swell. What Chaotic Swell says is when somebody else plays a stadium card, you discard it. So let's say somebody wants to play Glimwood Tangle back in, they would discard Chaotic Swell, but then they'd also discard their Glimwood Tangle. So if in that situation, they'd have to have three of the stadium card in their deck. Now the likelihood of somebody having three of the same stadium card in their deck, pretty low, probably. Um, so that's why Chaotic Swell is really useful. It gets rid of things like Giant Hearth from Fire Decks, uh, Glimwood Tangle, um, ma uh, the Martial Arts Dojo, things like that, that are really helping the particular type of Pokemon that you're facing. Chaotic Swell is really for anything it's for any type of uh, any type of deck so uh, it's a really good as i say utility card you can play it pretty much in any, in any type of deck so yeah another one that's that's going to be really good for just keeping those stadiums out of play allowing you to do what you want to do rather than your opponent being able to do what they want to do that's kind of stadium cards let's take a look at item cards next so I've got sort of three item cards. There's, there's a lot more than this, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of the type of things that you're going to want to have uh, four of lying around so you can put them into your decks. So the first one is Big Charm. It's very simple. It gives you 30 extra uh, HP for your Pokemon. So whichever Pokemon is in play, it's got 30 extra HP. This can be really useful if your opponent has something which could just about kill your Pokemon. Stick Big Charm on there. It's 30 you know it needs another 30 to get over the line with it so yeah it's just going to save that really important attacker that you've got or that really important uh, pokemon on the bench that you've got doesn't matter what it is it's going to save it so yeah again really really useful to have um, and it works with any type of deck so yeah, really great utility card Quick Ball. You can only play it if you discard another card from your hand, but then it allows you to search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Don't forget, Pokemon V are basic Pokemon. So provided it's not a VMAX, provided it's only a Pokemon V, then it can come into play through Quick Ball. So you can discard, I know, something that you've got in your hands that's, you know, uh, uh, something that you don't need, a stage one or something that you don't need. Boom, you've got Quick Ball and you can get that Pokemon that Pokemon V out of your deck um, and onto your um, um, onto your bench or onto the onto the field and, and into the active. So again another useful utility card, good to have four of in your collection so you can play it, you can put them into any decks that you might want to play. Most decks really good sort of high level decks are going to have probably four copies of Quick Ball, a couple of copies of Big Charm, a couple of copies of Chaotic Swell, and probably a couple of copies of Crushing Hammer. Crushing Hammer is great for slowing down your opponent. It, essentially, you flip a coin, if you get heads, then you, the, you can discard a energy from any of your opponent's uh, Pokemon. It doesn't have to be the one in the active, it could be something on the bench. So something that you think might be coming up, they've got a Zacian on the bench, which is just about to power up and get to where it needs to be. 
crushing hammer, boom, gets rid of one of those metal energies and you know it can't do as much damage or probably any damage to you um, this turn. You're just slowing, slowing the game down, allowing you to use quick ball to go through your deck, use a couple of the other cards that we're gonna look at in a second to go through your deck, find those cards that you, that you want to play and get them onto the bench or into the active. So yeah, really, really important uh, card to kind of slow down your opponent. So yeah, I would say, you know, get four copies of that. It's hard to get at the moment, Crushing Hammers. Um, it will rotate as well when uh, the rotation comes in August, September time. Um, Crushing Hammers will actually rotate out. Nothing, uh, oh yes, so will uh, Chaotic Swell. But Glimwood Tangle, Big Charm, Quick Ball are all gonna be valid for another 12 months plus. So let's move on. Let's talk about supporter cards. I picked hollow rares of each one of these. Um, these are all rare trainer cards. Um, first one, Professor's Research. Very simple, discard your hand, get another seven cards. It, you know, if you've got nothing good in your hand or you're down to a single card hand, something like that, Professor's Research, boom, and then you're gonna get yourself seven more cards in your hand. Again, it's getting through your deck, getting to those cards that you want to get to, those Pokemon V, those Pokemon V Maxes, Tag Team GXs, those type of things that you're gonna wanna put in, get them powered up, get them into the active and start doing damage to your opponent. Or, you know, other support Pokemon or supporter cards uh, stadium cards, item cards that you might want to get out of your deck, Professor's Research is going to let you do that. Don't forget, it does mean that you've got to discard whatever's in your hand. So if you've got anything in your hand that you want to play, play it first and then Professor's Research. If you don't mind stuff going into the discard pile, you've got stuff, you've got something which can get stuff back from the discard pile, great. Doesn't matter then, you know, it, play, play Professor's Research whenever you want to, but just make sure there's nothing in your hand that you need to play before you play Professor's Research. We'll skip over Boss's Orders, we'll talk about Marnie next. Uh, very similar to Professor's Research, except this time you shuffle your deck, your uh, hand and put it on the bottom of your deck and then draw five cards for you, four cards for your opponent. So this is useful in two ways. It's a two for one, this one. Uh, you've not got anything that you want in your hand or you've got a low number of cards in your hand, Play Marnie, you shuffle your cards onto the bottom of your deck, draw five new cards. At the same time, your opponent's got a massive hand with loads of things that they want to play in it. <whistles> Scooped up, put on the bottom of their deck, they draw four new cards off the top. So, you're getting disruption as well as getting yourself some fresh cards. So, you know, brilliant, brilliant card. Um, and you'll see most uh, top level decks playing four of Marnie, four Fresh's Research, usually four bosses orders as well three to four of all of these cards is quite normal in most of the decks bosses orders the last uh, sports card we're going to talk about uh, nice picture of giovanni on there um but it switched one of your opponent's bench pokemon with their active pokemon so your opponents managed to get their pokemon v max that you were just about to kill out of the active and onto their bench so you can't kill it and get those three prizes no problem, boss's orders, boom. It has to come back to the active. You don't have to do anything, just play the card and you get it back to the active. So absolutely fantastic card. Um, just allows you a bit more control over the game. Anything where you've got control over the game, anything where you can, you can disrupt your opponent, really, really good card. Marnie's great, boss's orders is great. Chaotic Swell is great. You know, you're controlling the game. You're making sure that your opponent has to do that little bit more in order to be able to win the game and beat you. So that's all of the supporters cards. Last category we're gonna look at today is Pokemon. Um, and we've got three of the best support Pokemon, in my opinion, in the game at the moment. Let's talk about Dedenne first of all. Um, ignore all the other stats. The only thing we're really looking at here is Dedenne change. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto the bench during your turn, you may discard your hand and take six fresh cards. It's boss's orders, um, you know, uh, sorry, uh, professor's research without having to pay the supporter card for the turn. You could Dedenne and then you could Marnie, you could Dedenne and then you could boss's orders, for example. Um, so, you know, you're getting six new cards um, into your hand. You've got to discard what's in your hand but you are getting those uh, six fresh cards. So again, it's a great card for going through your deck, milling through your deck, making sure you're getting to those 
um, all important cards that you want. Those all important support cards, those all important uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Vs, Pokemon V Maxes, Tag Team GXs, whatever you're trying to get to, Dedene is going to help you dig through your deck and find those cards. Same thing really with Chromat. Crobat's ability is slightly different. Again, ignore everything else. The only thing we're really looking at here, anything we're interested in is his ability, which is called Dark Asset. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in hand. You can't use more than one Dark Assets per turn. So again, you're playing Crobat to the bench. If you've got two cards in hand, you're drawing four. If you've got one card in hand, you're draw drawing five. If you've, got one, if you've got no cards in hand, six fresh cards from the top of, top of the deck. And, you know, again, it's helping you get through your deck. It's helping you get to those cards that you want to get. Not going to have a very good hand. Crowbat, boom. You're going to get those cards that you want to get out of your deck, hopefully. Um, but then you can do more digging. You can go and play Amani. You can go and play a Professor's Research. So it's just keeping your turn going, making sure that you're in control, making sure that you have got um, the ability to get to the cards that you want whilst your opponent has no ability to get to their cards. Whilst it's still your turn, they can't do anything. So don't forget that. You've got the control in your hands. Uh, and that's what we want to try and keep. Final card here, uh, one of my favourites, Elder Goss V. Um, uh, again, ignore all of this. We're not interested in float up. We're not interested in 180 health points. We're interested in happy match. Happy match reads, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a support card from your discard pile into your hand. So, played all your Marnies, get one back with Aldegos. Played all your boss's orders, get one back with Aldegos. You know, it's, you probably don't want to be, you're not going to be playing four of any of these. Um, you're going to be playing one or two in each deck. They're only there so you can go and dig for them with something like a, a, a quick ball. Go and find them, get them out of the deck, get them onto the bench so you can use their ability. Once they've done that, that's pretty much it. You know, the Dene uh, will be rotating with the next rotation, so he will be going out. These two will be in for some, some time. This is Sword and Shield um, era, and this is Sword and Shield era. This is from Darkness Ablaze, and this is from Rebel Clash. So these are going to be in for another 12 months plus. So again, probably worth investing in uh, a couple of copies of Crobat, a couple of copies of Eldegoss, um, possibly not Dedenes, depending on when this uh, the situation changes and we can go back to playing live events. Um, you know, we may not get in any Dedenes um, or any Chaotic Swells, um, but everything else, which is, oh, any um, uh, Crushing Hammers, but everything else here is, you know, going to be valid for another 12 months, months beyond that. And I would hope that we're going to be back to playing physical tournaments by that point. Who knows, but let's hope so, eh? Um, but there we go. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all of the uh, the sort of cards, the, the utility cards that I'd recommend getting. Um, it's not too many. You're not going to be paying an absolute fortune for any of these cards. They're all pretty cheap. Probably you'll pay the most for Crobat. May not be worth getting Crobat because he is going to be reprinted in Shining Fates and there is going to be a uh, box set with Crobat V and Crobat V Max um, in the box set. So maybe worth just hanging on, seeing if you can get some of those. People will almost undoubtedly trade the um, the promo cards for him as well because they'll buy a lot of the boxes because they're good value for money and then just trade the crow back because you know they can get decent uh, decent money back for him so yeah it's probably worth um you know just hanging on a little bit for for crow back. he's quite expensive at the moment um eldegoss not too bad dedene pretty cheap well this version of dedene is pretty cheap um if you want the normal art this is the alternate art one but if you want the normal art one it, it can get a bit pricey but this alternate art uh came came in the um I want to say elite trainer box but it wasn't elite trainer box the trainer's toolkit um you get two of these in each trainer's toolkit so if you are looking to buy a trainer's toolkit you will get a den agx in that trainer's toolkit along with some of these other cards as well so you know trainer's toolkit might not be the worst thing to buy uh you are getting two den you are going to get some of these other cards as well. Um, I don't know exactly what comes in it, but I, I do know there's two Dedenne GXs and there's a lot of sort of item and supporter cards and stadium cards in there. So there we go. Anyway, hope that's been useful. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, just me waffling on really about um, which cards I think you should get. Um, I do think that it's worth having one of, uh, you know, a play set of each of these in your collection, just so that you can make your decks um, as powerful as they can possibly be. 
Hope that's been useful. If you liked what you've seen today, please like, subscribe, hit the note bell notifications, all of that stuff, so you can see when we put up our latest videos. Um, and we'll be back next time. Thanks, guys.